Thanks for joining me today. I have a nice card for you today. This is a sneak peek from our new winter release that's coming up on November 1st, 9 a.m. Central Time, so I hope you can join us. I'm going to color in this cute little box from our stamp set here using my favorite Copic combination for boxes. E97, E99, and E95. I just love this combination for a fox. So I'll be doing some coloring with my Copics. I'm gonna play a little music. Um, if you wanna skip the coloring, um, go ahead and fast forward that and I'll show you the rest of the card. my A2 size card base. So that's going to be white. I've got a piece of paper that I'm going to blend a background on. I'm going to have my trees up on a hill. Um, I'm going to cut out some hills with this and then we'll have these two guys um, standing on the hill with the trees in the background and then we'll have our sentiment at the top. Um, it's almost gonna be like this card, but a little bit different, a little bit different color scheme. Now you can color up this guy different ways. So I drew it so you can color him up as he's wearing a scarf and a pair of gloves, or you could color it up as he's wearing a Snuggie. I think that's what it's called, a Snuggie. And, um, and then you can color up so he's not wearing gloves or you can actually color that a color so he is wearing gloves as well with his little Snuggie. So I thought that was really cute. And I like making the trim on the hat look like fur. So I did it two different ways. This one with a jelly roll pen and this one with gray Copic markers. Now an idea, um, you could do some masking for him to hold the cup 
or you can cut out little slits in his arms with an X-Acto knife and then tuck the little cup in there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not the best with the X-Acto knife. Uh, it's a little scary for me, but I'm gonna try that. And then just tuck this little cup in there. You could also have him hold the heart, which will be really cute. Or I'm gonna put the heart between these two guys here. So we're going to make a super cute card. I'll stamp one of the sentiments. I'm gonna do the missing you sentiments. And that beautiful font with the little stripes is from Carol Stubbs. Okay, so let's start with the hills. I'm gonna go and cut out the hills. In the meantime, I'm creating a sunset scene with my Distress inks. So I'm just gonna swipe back and forth with the different colors. I used the orange, a pink, a teal, and a purple. Since this is a sunset sky, I thought maybe the colors from the sky would be casting onto the snow. So I wanted to bring some of those colors down onto the white snow. Okay, so what's really gonna bring this card together is the snow. So I'm gonna get out a glitter stickles, but first I'm gonna add some snow with this Jelly Roll pen. There's also a little stamp in the stamp set, which I'm not really gonna share right now because this is a sneak peek, but there is a little snow dot that we can use to create little um, snow. Now I wish I had a nice white ink. The one I have is really, really too juicy and it is too liquidy. But I will show you what I mean by too liquidy. So um, I can't really press too hard on this ink pad. Otherwise it gets everywhere. But it's just a nice little dot that we can just add around the card. So I'm gonna do this, but first I'm going to do with the little Jelly Roll pen. So these will give us the bigger snowflakes. And then I'm just gonna do some random little dots everywhere. So we've got a sunset going on. And I'm gonna put snow right over the top of the trees. That way it looks like the snow is falling in front of those trees. And then I'm going to also bring some snow down to the front here. So I'm gonna 
go ahead and put some on the ground falling down here and some over the image. So it looks like the snow is falling down in front of these characters. I like doing it over the lines because then it really looks like it is falling in front of them. I don't like doing it on the faces because I just don't want to cover up the faces with dots. So I'm going to get out this and start stamping away here. Okay, so I think that is good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card. So I'm, I left off the little mug because I'm gonna save that for the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop card that is coming up shortly. So the Coffee Lovers Hop is on November 6th. So I will have a cute little card using the stamp set. Come visit me on November 1st, release day for the new stamp sets, and find out how you can get them for free. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the card, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys!